Yeah, well, social media is really individual, and so a lot of times people, I think, get very focused on what tool it is that they use. And what I tell people a lot of times is you really have to look at where, what kind of social media tools your community is already using. So, for example, if you think, oh, I need to have a Twitter account, if nobody, no, you have to think about who you're trying to reach. If nobody that you're looking to reach is on Twitter, that's not a very good platform for you. And these keeping up on different channels takes time. So you really have to think about like where you want to invest your time and you want to get a platform that is going to give you the most benefit for the amount of time you spend. Um, but it's a great way to connect with your community, um, you know, especially when you're transcending different differences, like if you're um, for example, if you're trying to reach rural areas, it's a great way to kind of be invested in that tool if you can't always reach them in person. And the challenge too from there is to get people excited about the cause enough online that you give them an outlet to be able to take action in their particular location. So it's translating that online action where, you know, where they're liking or they're contributing to the discussion and then translating that into action that they're taking offline. Um, so one of the ways that people have done that is on Facebook is they've started um, campaigns. So they've used those sometimes for fundraising campaigns or for activism. Um, so they've had particular campaigns and sometimes they try to do it around a fun idea that gets people, that is that hook to get people involved and then really gets them alerted to the kind of change it is. So sometimes people do that through a video, do it through telling a story is a really compelling way to do that and it gets people excited about a cause. So you may have heard about um, kind of the term going viral which means you know something gets shared and a lot of people end up viewing it and so that happens a lot through online video but sometimes through these online things that happen on Facebook too and then a page suddenly gets a lot of attra attraction from people. I think that is the challenge because you get the people interested in that and you know people sometimes will take a more passive stance where they'll like something, they're engaged with content but that doesn't always translate then into doing something and so I think the challenge people have is social media is great for outreach and awareness but I think we're really reaching that point in time with using these tools where we're really looking at yes but how do we keep that momentum going to actually take action on the ground I think it it sounds like you know it sounds like a lot of people are using Facebook or are aware of certain tools it seems like they could be a particularly um, it seems to be a lot of kind of old old ways of approaching things and so I think they're aware of the tools and have a general sense of how to use them or maybe they're using them a little bit but I think there's more in-depth ways that they can be doing that particularly with engaging with certain um, certain parts of the sector that aren't has that are a little more tied to some of the old ways of doing things.